Okay, parents, we're on to pro tip number six, having a catch in your backyard. But at this point, you're no longer having a catch. Maybe it's more your coaching in the backyard. Uh, hopefully you guys are making a little bit of progress and things are, are making a little bit of sense. Um, we'll call this coach's pet peeves uh, version uh, of the backyard catch today, uh, which are basically just warning signs that you want to be able to, to correct if, you, if you're seeing. Uh, backyard's time to have some fun, let kids be creative, absolutely. Behind the backs, little scoop shots, uh, stick tricks, all that stuff's really good. Um, it, being creative is a big part of the sport and, and it just allows for a joy and freeness of the sport, which lacrosse does bring. Um, however, there are some habits that can be built that are bad. The first st uh, one starts with their stick itself. Uh, this is pretty much a, a normal pocket here uh, that where the top of the ball, you should not, when looking directly through it, be able to see the very top of the ball um, because it should be blocked by the, uh, the side wall here. Okay, but on a deep pocket, I, I would be able to see the very top of the ball. Um, some kids have deep pockets and a deep pocket takes a long time to get out of uh, the player's stick because it has to travel a long ways. Tighter pocket, like a girl's stick. I mean, you whip that thing right out, it's out like that. Uh, sometimes bigger pockets require a lot more arm action and wind up to get it out of your stick, and that's a problem. Certainly doing all this, I could really shoot it hard, but that's rare in a lacrosse game. In a lacrosse game, usually things need to be quick and you need to get that ball out quickly. So what happens when a player is too big of a stick, for a simple pass, you'll see them doing a big wind up and a big follow through. Uh, and that takes too much time and it, it generally always leads to inaccuracy as well, especially when you're required to make tight passes. So let's start with uh, a reasonably uh, deep pocket, if not a little tighter, especially at the younger ages, is, is really important. Um, but if you see a player looking down with a big windup, that's a problem. Uh, also, the idea of looking down uh, is something to correct. Hey, just uh, get your chin up, uh, Billy, get your chin up, all right? So you're looking down the whole time. You don't know what's uh, in front of you and things change all the time. That's why we're in this position with our chin up to read the situation. Am I passing or am I shooting? Am I passing or am I shooting? But if we've decided we're shooting and our pocket's so deep that we're winding up, we're staring at the ground, uh, you've become one dimensional, you've become uh, predictable and you're not able to make the variety of uh, plays on the field. Uh, that we would love a advanced player to be able to make, which is every play. And to make every play, you have a responsibly strong stick.